and it's very easy to do dawa, very easy. In India, I have got no problem with the Hindus. I tell them that if you read Mahabharat, Mahabharat is one of the sacred scriptures of the Hindus. If you read Mahabharat, there are more verses of fighting in Mahabharat than in the Quran. Multiple times more verses of fighting in the Mahabharat than the Quran. But the Hindu tells me, no, but you know that fighting is truth against falsehood. So I said, same fighting is in the Quran, truth against falsehood. Oh, then we have no problem with the Quran. So easy. If you read Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita is the most widely read book among all the Hindu scriptures. It is a guidance given by Sri Krishna, who is considered as God by the Hindus, to Arjun in the battlefield. If you read Bhagavad Gita chapter number 1, verse number 45, 46, 47, Bhagavad Gita chapter number 1, verse number 45, says Arjun, he keeps all his weapons on the ground in the battlefield. In the battlefield, he keeps his weapon on the ground and says, I would prefer dying unarmed rather than fight my cousins. If you know Mahabharata, it's a story about cousins fighting among themselves. The Pandavas, who are five, and Kauravas, who are hundred, they're fighting among themselves. So Arjun says, I would prefer dying unarmed in the battlefield than fight my cousins. A few verses later, Bhagavad Gita chapter number 2, verse number 2 and 3. Shri Krishna, Almighty God of the Hindus, He gives His advice. O oh Arjun, how could you be so impotent? How could you be so scared? It is the duty of the Kshatriya to fight. Who is saying that? Shri Krishna is telling Arjun that it is the duty of the Kshatriya to fight. Now, if I tell that Sri Krishna is telling Arjun to kill his cousins, it will be devilish. It's quoting out of context. What Sri Krishna is saying that for the truth, even if you have to fight your cousin, no problem. Be close to truth. As Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 135. Ya amanu, O you believe, stand out for justice as witness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it be against yourself, against your parents, against the relatives, whether they be rich or poor. But if I quote out of context, it will sound devilish. And many of the critics of Islam, they quote the famous hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa which I quoted earlier, that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, book of Jihad, hadith number 46, that if a mujahid is killed in the battlefield, he will go to paradise. Otherwise, Allah will bring him home safely with rewards and war booty. If you read Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 2, verse number 37, Sri Krishna is telling Arjun, O oh Arjun, blessed are those people who get opportunity to fight. And if you die in the battlefield, you will go to Swarg, to paradise. Or if you come back safely, Allah will give you the booty of war. Verbatim what is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume 4, hadith number 46, is mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 2, verse number 37. When critics like Arun Shuri take out mistake in the Quran, they have not read their own Hindu scriptures. So easy. I never have problem while speaking to the Hindus. Majority of the Hindus, when they hear my speech, they like, only there may be some politicians. Politicians like creating fitna and discord. So the politicians may not like my speech because, you know, Zakir is uniting the Hindus and Muslims together. So they create that fitna, you know, for the vote bank. Otherwise, normally with the common Hindus, I've got no problem. I quote the scriptures for them to understand Islam better. 